sometimes cool projects happen by coincidence and this is one of those projects. Enjoy! The project I am talking about is the possibility to prepare and mount a dead Scolopendra, which one of my viewers donated for this episode. I feel humbled that he gave me a chance to try my taxidermy skill on one of his past animals, especially that this is an invert that I haven't mounted yet. I offered him to make a specimen in a dome, to make it look as close to being alive as possible. The Scolopendra was waiting in my freezer till I had some time to do the necessary work and of course to kill off any pathogens and parasites inside. Something interesting for all of you that try to tackle a project like this, the still frozen Scolopendra is still a lot easier to cut than a thought one. And wear gloves. I cannot stress that point enough. The insides are very soft and gooey. They stick to your hands and, well, they smell badly. The smell of the opened Scolopendra was really intense, comparable with the scorpion that I did a few weeks ago. Pachao. There we go. After I opened the Scolopendra, I tried to remove most of the stuff. I used Q-tips in the beginning, but I quickly realized that this was not the way to go so I switched to some toilet and kitchen paper. By rubbing, I wanted to clean the wet parts of the Scolopendra to prevent the specimen from rotting away. And then happened something I wasn't prepared for. Something interesting about the Scolopendra anatomy. And here we come to the moment where I thought I messed up really hard. By rubbing the insides with the kitchen paper, the soft tissue just peeled off the exoskeleton. As a result, I was left with something that resembled more of a mold than a scolopendra. I tried to come up with a plan to save the specimen and noticed that the insides were in a dark grey, blackish color. I tinted the cotton I had with some acrylic black paint, got rid most of the water and inserted the cotton inside the dead animal. As a result, the colored cotton was visible through the exoskeleton and the color was filtered through it, so looks like the specimen was saved after all. As a next step, I prepared a small diorama inside the dome. As a base, I used a small cork tube that I secured in place with a healthy dose of hot glue. Just make sure that the tube fits inside after putting the dome on. I scavenged one of my empty terrariums for some bone dry cocoa fiber and dry moss to decorate the diorama. I fixed everything with plenty of super glue, almost like basing a Warhammer miniature. Now the star of the show, the Scolopendra. There are two steps in mounting. First, we mount the body of the animal and after fixing it in place, we can position the legs to give the impression of it sitting on the cork. This is quite time consuming. Don't use too much glue, use a skewer to get just the right amount of glue. And after some corrections and adding some moss, the diorama is finished. I'm quite happy with the result. And like predicted, the male Psalmopeus irminia passed away from old age, so I thought this is a great opportunity to make a final enclosure for the female and a male like I did with the Caribena versicolor. This project was definitely easier than the Scolopendra. The Erminia female was already dried and the only thing left was to position the male correctly. Like with the Caribenas, they will be an excellent educational tool to show the differences between male and female tarantulas. I need to get more of those frames. They are constantly sold out and it looks like this won't change so fast. And here we have the final Scolopendra enclosure. This was a really fun project. I enjoyed every bit of it. Okay, not every bit, because there was a lot of stuff that stuck to my hands. I should have used gloves, but still the final result. So just one more thing. There you go. If you like what you saw and don't want to miss the next taxidermy projects because they will happen sooner or later, 
consider subscribing. Ring the bell, leave a comment what you like, what you want to see in future videos and as always, thank you for watching. Taranto Hala out.